Coalition 2024 just happened this past weekend, and my man over here did get offset. Well, I, I actually got offset too, so. We both ended up seventh place, top eight. Let's go! Beach has always been one of the matchups that, like, I know Joker's souls again. Every single combo that Mewtwo's got against you, he, like, never missed. He had a really, a really hype set against Light, bro. That was one of the hypest sets. That game five, it looked like he was just gonna win. He zero to dead me. <laughs> and then I zero to dead him back after I respawn. It's like, it's insane. So, what is your next tournament? Where can we see my center? <sighs> so, I think my next tournament will definitely be... Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Go Talks. It is once again that time of the week. So many things have happened once again. This time we had an S plus tournament. If I'm not incorrect, it was S plus plus. Yeah, like pretty, pretty important tournament. You know which one I'm talking about. Coalition 2024 just happened this past weekend. And <sighs> I mean, of course, we both made top eight at that tournament. What else could it be, right? So I'm over here with MK Leo. What's up, everybody? Top eight at Coalition. Woo! Bro, no, 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 no lie. S plus tournament. It didn't feel like it because now we got P and P plus. Like, I don't even know if we're going to get something even higher after that, bro. But it felt like a very stacked tournament. It felt like a very hard tournament. Like, at least um, in my bracket, I, have, I, I was supposed to play other people that I ended up not playing. So that just talks about, like, how stacked the tournament was. And, of course, the top eight, like, results, I think dug by itself, right? Like, pretty stacked tournament, and like you said, we both ended up 7th place, top 8, but let's f go! Yeah, for sure, like, I mean, there's definitely, like, the B-tier category now, and that's actually a topic for later today that we're gonna be talking about, because I don't think there's any more B-tiers for the remainder of the year, which is insane, aside from, like, maybe Japan, but like I said, that's for later in the episode. Um, We're gonna talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the brackets, our opponents, I mean... My man over here did get offset. Well, I, I actually got offset too. So, uh, hmm. well, yeah, technically. Yeah. So we will be talking about all of that. It was a it was a long tournament, like three day tournament. You know, we had doubles, squad strike, singles, of course, like being the most important one. Um, yeah. So let's talk about your run first, Leo. So did you play anyone in pools that you might have thought like, hey, this was mm. a little rough, That's or so was it just easy? That's a funny question because I usually get the pools like super easy, right? Like I usually go violet in, in pools just so I don't, I don't get gimp. But this time around, bro, I had to play a Pac-Man. I believe uh, their attack was Swan. And I usually go violet against the Pac-Mans, right? I, my record against D is very good with violet and against other Pac-Mans too. So I was like very confident going against him. But bro, I went violet first game and he took a game. Like, I, I, lo I, I lost the first game against him. Then I was like, um, of course, I've been talking to Echo a little bit. And, like, you know, I play a lot of characters. So sometimes the problem is, like, picking the character that I need to pick. Um, so at this moment, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Should I just go Joker and try to win? And that's what he did. And it went pretty well. I believe the last game was, like, three stocks or something. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, so maybe that's when I realized that Violet sucks. That's a different topic. That's, that, that's a <laughs> yeah. different kind of shit. But uh, that's when I realized that Violet sucks. But uh, that was the hardest match in my pool because then the winner's finals wasn't like a big of a problem. I'll be real. Then I had to play Beast. Uh, it was... Um, oh, uh, PT, right? Yeah, the PT. Beast actually upsetting a skeleton. I was afraid of a oh, skeleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to lie because Katsuya. <laughs> who likes fighting Katsuya? Uh, Beast, I'm very comfortable against PT. Something very unfortunate happened in my set against Beast. Uh, the controller oh, yeah. disconnected, and apparently it was my controller. Uh, I had fixed my controller, like, uh, at the venue, but I, I don't know, like, something was messed up, and apparently it just shot, like, shut down the GameCube adapter, and then we had to move to a different setup. I had to play with a different controller, blah, blah, blah. But at the end, oh. I had mm -hmm. to get my controller fixed again. Uh, no big deal. Like, um, like nothing happened from it, except that like I had to, um, I guess wait for my controller to be ready. Like there was like one set that I didn't play with my controller, which is, I mean, you know, kind of sad, like kind of yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. But that it was like the weird. only bad thing. Mm -hmm. I still ended up winning, so that's fine. But against Beast, it was like already game three. I was like up a stock, and it disconnected. But we had yeah, to wait for, like, it didn't matter. Yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, it, it didn't matter because I was still <laughs> winning. And like, even yeah. when we started playing with a different controller, it was like, oh, 
damn, like I know PT yeah, like, by heart, so it's mm-hmm. fine. Now, a quick question about that. So it was your controller that disconnected and it, that made the GameCube control or like the GameCube adapter start to like act weird. Is that what happened? Yeah, like literally my controller, apparently the motherboard uh, just crashed and it caused the GameCube adapter to just disconnect all of the GameCube uh, controllers. Okay, well, that's weird, however, because um, that did happen day one during doubles and doubles uh, or day one rather had no singles, just so you guys know. And that happened like multiple times during the double sets where the controllers disconnected, like all four of them. So like they did change it because even day two, like for pools in singles, they they were like acting weird still, like the controllers were still disconnecting. Um, and they ended up changing the dock and because apparently it was the dock that was weird and it never happened again. So I'm wondering if like maybe it was just a coincidence with you that like, I mean, yeah, your controller was f-ed up because I, I did see you repair it like two to three times. Um, yeah. but I'm wondering if it wasn't like, if it was your controller or if it was like another duck, like, I don't know. I see. Uh, good question. I don't know. Like, apparently it was my controller because once, uh, Adrian, shoutouts to Naha, um, gave me a controller, like in a spare, I could use it and it went completely fine. But mm. it was weird because like, like, you know, like, even if we unplug the Game Pick adapter, even if we try different controllers, even if, like, we turn off the Switch, it didn't work. So yeah. maybe the dock, uh, like, I didn't think about it. Maybe the dock could be the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess maybe, maybe it could be the problem. I don't know. It was it was weird, though, that it happened both, like, because at first it was just the on-stream setup. And it's like, okay, well, that's not fine but they, they fix it like it's easier to fix right but if it happened with another setup it's like it's kind of weird i don't know um but yeah so yeah skeleton did get upset we were telling you about this we were like yo if you have to play skeleton we'll solve that, it was like that, that guy that was us. yeah that was pretty yeah <laughs> he knows it's causing his stuff like he definitely gets them serious today it's like get him away from me too please but uh um, yeah yeah after beast who did you have to play because you have to play like another one to make it out right yeah, I had to play Marcus, the great Gonzalez. Oh, the um, Game of Watch, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Game of Watch. Bro, um, this is just like fun fact, right? Every single Game of Watch there is, Mia, you, Monty, play the green Game of Watch. And every other Game of Watch that, that, that there is plays the black Game of Watch. Yeah, you guys yeah. only play two skins. That's, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> they're not, be they're not even good skins. To be fair, Game Watch doesn't really have that many great ones. Because, like, the red one is okay. The red one is nice. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the green one, like, the dark green is also fine, in my opinion. But then there's, like, the the P-color Game Watch, and it's, like, that one's one's ugly. And then there's, like, another blue one, but it's, like, purple You don't like the blue? You don't like the blue? Mm Mm-mm. No, 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 no. I like the blue that I have, like, the cyan. But, like, I don't like... I, I don't like, uh... The other one. I don't know. I feel like they could have done better with Game & Watch's alts. Like, I've seen so many mods, dude. Like, there's, like, a cow Game & Watch. Like, with, like <laughs> you know, it's, like, white yeah. and with, like, black dots. Yeah, it's, like, really funny. Like, a rainbow Game & Watch. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they could have done so many things. They don't bother with it. But, anyways, that's another topic. <laughs> that's really Before we move on, shout out to the great Gonzalez because his boot at Collision was great. Yeah. You, even you were, like, looking at it. Like, yeah. He had so he, many things, like N64, Game Boy, DS. Oh, no, he didn't have DS. But, like, he did have uh, GameCube and N64, which is great. Oh, and Game Boy, which is amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah some diamonds great, great over boot. there. That was so good. Um, <sighs> yeah. We didn't get anything from there, unfortunately, because we were focused on the tournament. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the match went really well against him. The first game, I kind of destroyed the Game of Watch. The second game was last hit. I was low-key scared of losing that game because, I don't yeah. know, that, that's, that's pride, right? I don't want to lose yeah. that game yeah. to, to another Game of Watch. Why. And then yeah. <laughs> the third game was a three stock badly. Um, I'm good at adapting, so I guess that what ha- that's what happens. And mm-hmm. yeah, that was about... That was about it for like my day one because I didn't do dubs. I started playing on the Saturday. I might be doing that a lot more. But what about you, Papu? What about the the run? Well, so uh, day one in pools, I or doubles rather was day one. We had to play Skyjay and I had to play doubles. I had to play uh, Shattuck and Beastly, which I say Skyjay with like the most two hundred IQ downer, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then after what? that. <laughs> Uh, I think we lost Atomic and Onan. Wait, what's up? What's up? 
No, I was going to ask you if the downer was actually intentional or not. Oh, yeah, 100%. Didn't you see me jump to position myself? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did see you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we did lose to Atomic and Onan. I'm not going to lie. Like, that team was annoying. It's like you have to worry about Steve mining, but then you also want to, like, approach Steve and Rob just puts Gyro on the ground and you can't do anything about it, really. So it's mm -hmm. like, well, how do I approach this? And then we did lose to Luis and Send, which technically Sky and I lost to second and third place for seventh, which is insane. So, well, at least they weren't bad losses. Um, and day two, who did I play in day two? Oh, I had to play Lucario in pools. That was probably my toughest matchup because uh, he didn't take a game. But game two, he was like off a stock by a lot. And then the classic happened where he just threw a neutral B. Oh, no, 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 no. He threw a neutral B. I, I down beat, and I was like, okay, well, it doesn't matter that I'm losing now. I have waft, so it's it's whatever. And I took a stock, and then I killed him with zero. That's that's it. Like, <laughs> and then game three was like a two stock ish. After that, I had to play JJ, and, that, and that's kind of like what happened to you with like Marcus. It's like I didn't want to lose to JJ because like I mean, Gilhu has beaten me. He's yeah. really good. I practiced with him a lot, even on Wi-Fi. So I didn't want to lose, and it was three zero. I, I was happy about that. I thought I was gonna like struggle a little more. And then Luis got upset because I had to play him, but he lost to John Numbers somehow. But he did. <laughs> <laughs> like, John Numbers is good, don't get me wrong, but my man Luis, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> so I had to play John Numbers. It was 3 1. Even the game that I lost wasn't that bad. Uh, I mean, I did kill him at zero with Bucket again. I actually did a lot yeah. of Bucket during this tournament. After that, I think that was my, my day two. Uh, you know, day two was interesting, actually, because, like, the tournament was stacked to the point where, like, day two, you would have to play, like, really good people, you know, like, to make it out and stuff. Like, they were, like, like, uh, Mute Sky J was projected to happen okay. for making it to top 32. Of course, Sky J got upset and that didn't happen. But, yeah, like, matches like that were projected. And it's it's kind of insane. I don't know. I was worried about day two. I don't know how you felt. That that was insane because like even you against Louis was only for top thirty two. That was like yeah. kind of insane. That was one of the hardest sets of the day. I had to play. Well, I ended up playing Marcus, but I had to play Andres FN, which got off. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was also mm -hmm. going to be a tough match because you know my record against the Shadows and Andres. This <laughs> Ken, he knows that I had Ken, so he probably would have yeah. done Ken. So it was tough. I was worried too. Yeah, who did who did Andres lose to in winners? Because I know he lost to Icon in losers, but I don't know about winners. I think in winners he lost to Don Peach player. Oh yeah, the Peach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, there you go. So you didn't have to play either Andres or Skeleton. So you, yeah, you're good. No Shoto, no Shoto. Oh nice. uh, yeah, I can't imagine what it's like f hating Shotos because like the only one I hate is Kazuya, and it, that's because it's Kazuya. So yeah. Um, <laughs> but you still do good against Katsuya. Your matchup is still good against Katsuya. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Joker is fine uh, yeah. too, but kind of weird. Like, for some reason, I feel like you can die at Seer more times than, like, characters like Game Watch or other characters. Uh, like, 100%. you're just so easy to combo as Joker and, like, or send, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunate stuff. But Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to open a scar over here, but... The the can that you played at Genesis was kind of like that. It was like he touched you like once with a tattoo and then you died. Like yeah, that's it. Right? You had like ten <laughs> or zero. Like literally both games, I was at like thirty percent. I was like, oh, one mistake, I I died. Yeah, I died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god, so scary. Doesn't doesn't our sand help you in that matchup like at all? Yeah, our sand is broken in that fast. matchup, but like there's some like some interactions where like it doesn't matter. It's still. Like, I'm still going to, like, get hit by some things, or the focus is going to hit me either way. Um, the only good thing is the counter that I can edge grant him pretty well. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. other than that, it's still scary. Like, neutral becomes, it, like, surprisingly slower for me, because, like, side beat takes longer, the gun mm. takes longer. Like, I have to be more precise in, like, how I s spam the projectiles. So, yeah. I, like, it's low-key hard. And it's also a matchup that I usually don't practice, like, can like in Mexico, we don't really have like a shadow player that complete in Mexico. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's hard to get that practice. Yeah, in Mexico, we really only have like a bunch of Terry's and Kazuya. We have Terry and Kazuya, funnily enough, more more Terry than Kazuya for sure. But but we definitely don't have Ken like at all. So it is kind of tough to get practice with that. 
Um, but yeah, so that was day two, stacked, nerve wracking. We got a bit of some upsets in our brackets, so yeah. But um, anyway, so day three, how was your day three? My day three was a bit unfortunate, not gonna lie, because the first set I played against Cola. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Game, game five, unfortunate, losing game fives, or there's something about losing game fives. Then I guess you feel good about it because, oh, it was super close, but ah, you're so close to winning the set that it still feels bad, you know? Um, yeah. But I don't know. It's been a long time since I played a good, like a super good Roy. Last time I played a Roy was Javi like eight months ago. So oh, yeah, that's long, a long time ago. So like long time. Um, and the matchup, I know he practiced, like, Cola practices a lot against Omega. Like, they're from the same region. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of sets with them. So, I knew it was going to be hard. I know Roy a lot. Um, I would say significantly a lot. So, I guess it was just a very good set. It's still very sad that I lost it. But then after that, uh, no, no lie, I checked my bracket before going up against Cola. And I saw that my loser bracket looked kind of good. So, I wasn't too mad about it. Mm, Aegis, Cosmos, Joker, Aegis is a matchup that I really like. Uh, not yeah. even, like, not even, I haven't played Shooton, like, ever, but I beat in Spargo, and, like, I have a good record against Spargo with Joker against this Aegis, so the Aegis is fine for me. Then I had to play the boss. Uh, much love to the boss. I love the boss. But yeah. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> oh my god. Maybe the boss should start using Min Min, like, more against, no, against me. you. Yeah, yeah. Cause, Okay, that's something that I wanted to talk about, however, against uh, that set in particular, because I was watching it while I was waiting for my match, and I saw that even though, yeah, it was still 3-0, like, I saw he actually didn't do bad this time. Like, he... And I don't think anyone's, like, talking about that, because, like, yeah, sure, the boss lost for, like, the one million time against you, but all of the games were, like, last stock, last hit, and one of them was a reverse three stock from you, so he was... He was doing fine, he just choked. So, <laughs> yeah, well, what do you think he did different this time around? Like, what do you think it is that made him, like, do well with um, Rosa? Because, like, sure, he would do better with Min Min, but he was almost clutching it out with, with Rosa. So, like, I don't know. Yeah, that's surprising because um, I don't feel like Rosa does that good against Joker. Um, or maybe it's Holo Bastion. Like, I feel like the stage had a lot to, like, to play around for sure. Like, it's the first time that I go fully Holo Bastion in a set. So that was kind of, like... It's still weird to play Rosa in there. Last time I played a Rosa was solo in France. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a player from the Netherlands. So last time I played that Rosa, I really felt that like you kind of really approach Rosa. Like the, if the Rosa is playing on point, it's super hard to approach Rosa. Like Luma is always just spacing out, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like the best thing that the boss did in, the, in, like, in this set was definitely his spacing. I couldn't approach mm. that that often. And, like, I, I had a hard time killing Luma, no the lie. A lot of the times were because of me. But a lot of the times was simply because, like, he was just doing, like, he was pulling out Rosa attack that I didn't know. And then, like, the Luma traded with my attack. Or, like, the Luma didn't get hit by, like, what everything I did. Um, there was one time where, like, I even charged a force smash because I know Luma was coming. And he traded out with one of, one of the um. hits. <laughs> and those are the things that, like, I don't know if it is because, I mean, I imagine that the boss kind of like hates to play against me, so he mm. sometimes forgets about like that he can do some this stuff. kind of tech, like yeah. some stuff. So sometimes he doesn't pull that out like in other sets, you know. So it was really surprising. I'm not alive. I didn't pull out that uh, comeback, the one that you said it choked. I mean, of course, the blue guy being significant in the matchup literally like if you don't kill i mean if you don't take away the blue guy like one single interaction is like 60 you're dead yeah i'm gonna yeah, grab yeah. you basically then but it could have gone like game five maybe game four at least of course like if he took the game but surprisingly like you said i still feel like he would do better with min min but the yeah, rosa yeah, was yeah. doing so good like the rosa is still it doesn't feel like the matchup is that bad for rosa anymore but yeah because um i don't know i feel like like you said the boss, I feel like he forgets a lot about like he he and him and I share one thing, and that's that we've beaten you like once. But that one time he beat you was with Min Min. Yeah. And like it's like okay, he did it. And then he went like, I'm never going Min Min again. It's like, brother, what? Like it's right there. Like it's <laughs> literally right there, bro. Like 
Min Min's never gonna get banned. Like not like Steve, so just use her, you know, like that's that's it really. Yeah, I don't I don't know why why the buzz doesn't use Min Min that much. Ah, Min Min is a super broken character. Like at least against the characters I play. Um and against some others, right? But like, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, yeah, Min Min is not gonna get banned, so please everybody use Min Min so we learn the Min Min matchup. The matchup, yeah. Um I also feel like I I mean he he uses three characters, right? Like he has Olimar, uh Rosa, and Min Min. But like sometimes and not not just against you, but sometimes I do feel like his character choice at times is like I mean, obviously I'm not one to talk because like I main one character. <laughs> but like I feel like sometimes I'm like, okay, wouldn't this do better? Like overall, like for example, with Min Min against you or like stuff like that. Like sometimes I see him pick Olimar against matchups that are like, well, I don't think Olimar does that great in there, right? Like, but uh, I'm not the character specialist, so I don't know. That's just my recommendation, my humble tip to the bus. But yeah, um, yeah, <sighs> bro. I guess as like a multi character user, I can tell you that like those kind of choices is very hard. Those yeah. choices are very very hard. But sometimes we just don't want to use the most broken character. And I guess that happens with me too sometimes. Like, I, like I didn't want to use Joker like for some months for some reason, even though he's like super broken, ridiculous, right? So I guess he just doesn't feel comfortable with some matchups. He, maybe something clicks like in the future. Might happen. Yeah, but maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm scared of that Rosa. I mean, the Rosa that and the Min Min too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've only beaten the boss once, so I'm scared of his Rosa as well. Stay, keep that boss away from my bracket. I, I, I don't want him. That's fine. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so after the boss, who did you play? Oh, I had to play Lima. Lima, Ooh, that's bro. it. Ooh. Yeah, Lima is one of the players I respect the most. I really like the way Lima plays. Uh, seeing Lima going from like a Bayonetta player in his match four, like. Lima had some big mistakes back in the Smash 4. I'm not going to lie. Like, um, DeBeo, I carried some player. But seeing like seeing Lima doing that good and being so good, it's actually just like very cool, right? So that was just mm. some good Smash. Either way, even if I lost, it wouldn't be nice. And, like, nice Smash, like I said. I ended up winning. I was re-watching the set. It was simply because he went, like, he basically just, like, went for a 50-50. Because he was always gonna go like he was always going to the left side every single time he did that option like under the stage with the up beast and side beast. But this time he went right. Technically, simply a 50-50, unfortunate. I reacted to it and no gonna lie, I was very happy to get the top eight, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I like an, an S to give plus is uh, is uh is is nice. It's like going back to the normal and hopefully we uh we keep like making these top eights and lima was tough for some reason like we're talking in the like in the venue why oh, do yeah. Bayo players always do better at last talk like for some reason you're always kind of destroying them like the whole game and then last talk they're always like oh like i hate you once you're a 60 and then you're also off stage bro in yeah, that situation yeah, yeah. if you do something like wrong off stage you just die like the second game i literally just like died at zero off stage and no, no, I was scared of that happening, like, any moment of the set. So, <sighs> Bayo is really scary. Yeah, so that last stock, you went from, like, 0 to, like, 120% in, like, literally the span of, like, 30 seconds. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is with, like, Bayo mains, but they definitely clutch in the last minute. And, of course, Bayonetta's, like, damage output is insane. Like, she might not kill at times, but if she gets you to, like, 120, 160, like, eventually... Yeah. She will kill. And, like, you're, also... You're going to get an upfield, you, and then you're going to die. And that's that's what I was about to say. Like, Lima did get an upfield against you, but I think he... You were either, like, too high of percentage, mm. or, like... I think it was, really I was good too DI. high. Yeah, I think yeah, it was too yeah. high. Plus the DI, of course. Because, like, it definitely looked like double jump <clears> didn't hit me. Like, double jump back here couldn't hit me. So, I don't know if there was, like, a different, like, route that he could have, like, go and hit me, but... I think I was too high, but that's still like I was at like 140. So I'm glad that they didn't die like, with an up to like 140. Yeah. Yeah, because like he also was fishing for like a lot of like the rapid jab, but he like never got a single one. And I was like, dude, oh my god, like you could have died like 
six times and you didn't it, it was crazy like that last game was crazy bro playing lima like i said joker, joker bale is a funny matchup because like yeah you kind of destroy bale in neutral but like you said bale can just like hit you 120 140 and like the thing the thing that matters is like you put off stage like you put joker off stage and it's kind of like just loki ggs it's one of those characters mm. that like there is a there is a point where like oh like I hate you here is GG's and Mayo is one of the best characters on hitting Joker off stage. So yeah, um, tough matchup for sure. One of my favorites, probably my favorite set I played over the weekend. Shoutouts to Lima. Hopefully I play Lima soon again. <clears throat> mm, and then top eight, top eight happened. And well, I guess yeah, seven. you had to play. Uh, you had to play Mute Ace again. Last time you guys played was Port Priority, which was a long time ago. Honestly, mm. it was like five months ago. So yeah. Mm. How'd that go? I mean, I know how it went, but how'd you feel? I feel like I feel like I play Mute Ace a decent amount of times. Don't you feel? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Like it's always in losers, basically, but I feel like I play Mute Ace a lot. Loki, the Mute Ace said it was very good. Unfortunately, I couldn't make a game five or anything, at least taking a game. That's mm -hmm. that's on me. That's my bad. Beach has always been one of the matchups that like I know Joker souls against. Even though I feel like I know the Peach matchup. There's still some of the stuff that I that I forget I can speech. And you gotta be really precise in that matchup. I saw Mute Ace tweets uh tweets about it and he was like, Oh, like I feel like I was just punishing harder and that's that's the thing with Peach, right? Like if you're not on point with your mat with like with your combos, if for sin like it's taking away super soon, like super fast, you basically don't have any ways of like um like uh like counterplaying Peach in there. Because mm -hmm. you're gonna get a hit and then you will be at forty percent. But like, if you keep getting combo running, got a first send will be very easy. Joker also looks like the perfect like character for Peach to combo. Like every single combo that Mute's got against you, he like never missed. And like I've seen him miss against other characters, even during like the rest of his run in, in top eight, he he would miss a couple, you know. But against you, like Joker, it's like I don't know if it has to do with like. Him being a fast faller, his herd box, I don't know. Mm. But he just never missed. Like, it was just, like, every single time he would just yeah. get it. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> yeah. He's a tryhard, bro. But... Yeah. Okay, but, like, how do you... <laughs> but, like, you play a combo, a combo-based character, right? How do you yeah, know? yeah, like... Like, like would you say comboing Joker is easy compared to other characters? So, like... Well, I think, for me, it's different. Because, like, for me, I feel like he's just meh. Like, he's whatever to combo. Like, he's not hard to combo, but he's not easy to combo either. But with I feel like with Peach, it might be easier because like you have the turnip, right? And turnip is like this huge like projectile that just gets chalked at yeah. you and deals so much damage, and then you can follow up with an aerial or you can just do the thing Mutes does with like multiple turnips into a back air, right? Like I cannot do that. I can get like a nair into an upper it deals like forty, and it's like okay, well that's that's fine, I guess. But with Peach, it's like Peach gets like so many combos because also the main one that stuck to me while I was watching is the, the Nair from Peach. Like, every time Peach hits Joker with a Nair, I don't know why, but I feel like... Grab. Joker's yes. definitely suffering, bro. Like, it, it looks like it hurts. Like, it's such a massive, like, you know, move that hits Joker. Like, it, it might not be, like, Super Digit or, or anything, right? But, like, it looks like it's just the the tournament winner for Peach in that matchup. It's like, if she gets the, the Nair strength, like, the down tilt Nair, grab, mm. whatever it is that they do, like, it seems like that type of combo route is really really simple or well not really simple to execute but like you know yeah. joker it looks yeah yeah like it looks easier than other characters <laughs> the same thing happened with light like when i was watching light in the crew battle against mutes literally the same thing like the turnip stuff down to into nair and air stuff that that stuff is just bro it's, it's stupid like when you play a character that like relies on the meter that goes from zero to like 60 immediately and then you don't have a cent anymore yeah, so I don't know. I feel like uh, Peach just yeah. does really well against Joker overall. I mean, you've kind of struggled in that matchup like quite often, right? Even last year at Genesis, Mutes did beat you in winners, but then you reset and whatever it didn't matter. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, with Mutes, I remember at Genesis the first set I win Byleth. Even against Mutes at Perpetuity, I believe I win Byleth the like the three games. Um, Surprisingly, I do feel that Violet does good in the matchup. I just, I just feel that that Mute Ace was like better than me at like at that point. 
at Genesis, it was a different story, right? Because I, like, I was, I was still like very, 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 very good. Um, but I, I don't know. I think you're right. The Peach has always been a bad matchup for me, a hard matchup for me. But I don't feel that it's because I don't know the matchup. I feel like it's because my character does bad against Peach. Mm, and yeah, like I was saying, like the meter. Sometimes I'm I'm a zero, right? And I get hit, and then our sim pulls out, and then like I get another hit, I get another combo, and it's like oh down throw back air. Our sim is almost gone. It's like halfway. Gone. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Ah, and it's like bro, like that was the only way I could make the comeback and. Fighting Peach little by little, just like getting hits with normal Joker is still hard. I I guess that they they sometimes spam the turnip, right? Like not Mute Ace, yeah. of course, because Mute Ace like hits you with a turnip, you're dead. But other Peaches is just like, oh, I'm gonna like spam turnips, spam projectiles, you can rebels guard that. But I guess like you Peach having her sin is like the best no, thing really you can tough. do, but it's also very hard to have her sin against the good Peaches. Yeah. It really does seem very tough because um, even like straight hits from Peach, like she doesn't even have to get a combo. I remember I saw like Mutes hitting you with like a backer and like that, that on its own, like just the, the pure backer was like, like it was like almost one quarter of percent gone. It's because yeah. they deal so much damage, like her aerials. It's and like I 16%, think, I, I think 16% yeah. to 20. That's stupid, yeah. bro. And I think that has to do with the, the float thingy where like, you know, in ultimate, if you short up an aerial, you do less damage. But with Peach Float, that doesn't apply. You can do the aerials close to the ground, and they will do full damage as if she was full hopping. So she has to do full damage all the time. I, oh, you I didn't, didn't know that. I didn't know that property. No, I didn't know. That's that is yeah. that makes me hate Peach even more. That's stupid. Yeah, so yeah, that, that property does exist. It's like she she gets to float around really close to the to the ground and it'll deal full damage. It's been like that since day one. They never patched it. Well, to be fair, it is kind of hard to patch it. Well, not really. I guess they could just make it so that float always deals short hop damage. Yeah. But then that would be kind of unfair, so I don't know. Or, like, when do you f start floating? Because, of course, it's not the same start floating here. Like, right next to the ground and, like, start floating. Like, yeah. hop distance, right? Like, that should, yeah. be, that should be easy to recognize. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Peach I is guess broken, so. Peach is stupid. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do against the Peach. I think I can put it, put it out with Joker. Uh, I'm looking for secondaries, maybe. I do believe for some reason that Aegis does good against Mutes. I've seen Shuton beating Mutes like badly. So maybe I one of those matches where Pyramithra does fine for me, but we'll see. I have faith in the Joker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's actually kind of funny too, because when you went Violet versus Mutes at port, I didn't think it was the best idea. <laughs> but then when you went Joker at Collision, I also thought. Maybe the Violet's better, so I don't know. It was, I feel like I understand what you mean. It's definitely... With, like, the characters that you have, I think it is tough. Because, like, what about Aegis? Like, how does Aegis do? I think Aegis wins the matchup. It should win the matchup. Like I said, Shuton does good against Mutes. Against... Mm. against um, what was his name? Uh, Umeki. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, yeah. seen Shuton against Umeki as well. So, I think I can played the matchup like it's supposed to be played but it's still Aegis you know like there's a lot of people that know how to play against Aegis like it, I struggle against the matchup itself so maybe like I just gotta try it yeah for sure for sure oh, but man what about your run for top 8 you had a really a really hype set against Light bro that was one of the hypest sets like, oh, in, in, like in the top 8 for sure but like talk a little bit about before the top 8 yeah, no. Um, well, I actually have to play Riddles right away. Like, we were talking about how stacked this tournament is, and I have to play Riddles. Riddles is, like, a top 10 player, and I had to play him right away after making top 32 winners. Like, first set of day three was Riddles. You guys know my record versus Riddles. It's not exactly the best. It's, uh, I want to say it's, like, 5-2 right now. It's, like, really bad. But uh, I would never lose, like, 3-0. I don't think it's ever been 3-0. But I did lose... I would always lose like 3-2, 3-1. Somehow, I did beat Riddles. Um, I lost game one. It was 3-1. I lost game one. I was getting three stopped. And I was like, okay, maybe this is going to be a little bit harder than last time. But I was doing the reverse three stock. Like, I got him to last stock 70%. And I then got side beat at ledge because I got greedy with a down smash. And I was like, well, I kind of deserve that. I shouldn't have down smashed at that percent. Um, 
and I died. So that was game one. <laughs> and then game two, three, and four. I think all of them were like two stock at least. Maybe one of them was last stock, but they were pretty convincing. I believe last game especially but, was really good. Hmm. Like really, really good. I was watching the set against <clears throat> Riddles. Um, I feel like the Castilla matchup for you is just free. No. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. I feel like I have definitely gotten better at the at the matchup. It's just any character in any fighting game, really. Any character that is like, that like avoids all of the usual rules of the game, I hate. So like, for example, Luigi, I hate Luigi because of that. It's like, <laughs> he doesn't really have to do much. He just has to grab you at any percent and that's it. Um, with Kazuya, it's the same. It's like, he can just do anything at any percent. So I, I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, so I beat Riddles. Yeah. yeah. Understandable. I feel like that that kind of characters, that that stereotype of characters is very annoying. I hate them too. It's like literally talentless, like my till day friend will say. <laughs> well, well, I do agree that Steve is a, a little sus. His DI was giga sus. Yeah. So I don't know about that. Deal with yeah. Bad. Deal with bad. yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, I, all those characters, I I, I really hate them. I, I hate them so much. Um, and after that, I had to play Odin. Originally, it was going to be Tweak. But I'm not going to lie. Ever since the bracket got released and it said I had to play either Tweak or Odin, I was like, this is not going to be Tweak. I'm sorry. Tweak, I love you, fellow teammate and everything. But I know his record versus team, and it's not pretty. Mm -hmm. And I can understand why. That that character is not okay at all. And then the, the characters he plays, even Sephiroth. I mean, Sephiroth probably does the best because Diddy definitely gets destroyed. But... Even Sephiroth, people say that matchup is like great for Sephiroth. It's it's not. I think it's like mm. even at best. So yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I had to play Onin. It was bad. He's probably the Steve that I struggled with the most. And granted, I haven't played Akola. Um, but I mean, I played Didi. I played Jake. I played Yanni. I played. I'm forgetting about one. Um, I mean, I played Onin as well. Duh. I beat him once, and that's it. But yeah, basically, I've played a lot of Steve players. I do well against most of them. But Onin, I, I don't know what to do against Onin. He's probably the best Steve I've, I've played so far. Like, like I said, I haven't played Akola, but so far, I think he's he's the best. He's the best I've played, like for sure. I don't know. Maybe I'll go Sora in that matchup. I don't know. And I feel like Game Watch gets there. I just have to study. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Game Watch yeah. fine against Steve, I feel like. Doesn't seem like the worst <laughs> matchup. In my opinion, like. It looks like Steve wins or must win, but Game Watch still does fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I thought uh, the first time I beat Owen is because I started watching Mia. Because I watched Mia versus Akala when when he started doing well versus him, and then Mia beat Akala like twice in a row, and I was like, okay, well, then yeah, I guess it's just like that. But I believe last time Mia and Akala played, it was pretty Akala favored. So I guess we're both struggling right now. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I guess lots of studying is what I got to do really against mm. Steve. Steve is also like a matchup that, in my opinion, like if you do not play the matchup often, it's, it's very easy for you to lose. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those matchups. But yeah, after that, I lost and then I had to play Peep Not, which I'm not going to lie. It was good. <laughs> I've had that matchup since Smash 4. Like, if I lose to Mega Man... I would be very surprised because I have that oh. matchup like really memorized, honestly. I mean, I, the first time I played Kameme, I 3 0 him too when, with yeah. Mega Man. So, yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yo, I didn't know that you had like a Mega Man, like good matchup experience. Like, I knew you were good against Mega Man. Of course, it looks like Game, like Game Watch is good against Mega Man. Like, I don't know what you think about the matchup. Yeah. But no, I, didn't, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you were like actual good in the matchup like like you compare <laughs> those like that matchup over others mm -hmm. yeah i uh i have a, a friend of mine over here in mexico lev shout outs to lev uh, ardilla he uh he lives really close to me and we've played since smash 4 and we play offline quite a bit so every time and he's also really good at analyzing so like before the set he like mm -hmm. sent me like a bunch of notes he was like oh you should do this you should do that and i was like oh well i'll try it and <laughs> it was three it worked. So. yeah 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 it worked <laughs> So, yeah, that was uh, pretty nice. I mean, I've played Peep not a decent amount as well. Like, we play online. We play at Coinbox. We play at Coinbox a lot of times, actually. Um, then, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just have that matchup down really well. But I had to play light after that and top it. And like you said, 
Great set. I wasn't even mad. Like usually I do get mad because I I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't lose too light, and I feel like. <laughs> Whenever I do it's because I did really bad habits, like, you know, the stupid downers or, yeah. like, a stupid air dodge that got me frame trapped. Like, eh, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Or, like, ledge habits. Um, but this time, I was like, you know what, man? We were both destroying each other. Like, I'm not even mad. This was hype. Like, this was yeah, actually It was really hype. Good. It was hype. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Like, that game five, it literally, he was just going to win. He zeroed to dead me. <laughs> and then I zeroed to dead him back after I respawned. It's, like, it's insane. Man. Definitely one of the best sets of the top eights. Like, bro, the way you... <laughs> it was really funny because you finally hit the bacon into down air combo, <laughs> yeah. which is which is like weird to see. And I feel like that was just the perfect percentage for Fox to get hit by by that. But yeah. all, all of the play was like so good because he could have gone for side B, but he didn't go for side B because you were conditioning him, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. top, top level smash, but good like nice to see that's that's what it mean it was it was nice yeah yeah uh, thank you thank you um yeah the, funnily enough the last time i got bacon downer where it mattered at least like in the top eight was back in smash factory in 2019 against abadongo so oh that, what <laughs> character did he play inkling he was playing inkling <laughs> Nice. And like, dude, that was five years ago. So it took me another five years to get that combo on stream in a top eight against a relevant player. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, right. you get it in pools, it's like, oh, whatever. He he got it. But like, if you get it in top eight, <laughs> extra points in my opinion. But hey, I don't know. That's nice. Uh, At least we know that the combo exists now. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more that Game Watch can do. Like a low percent. Like he can do Bacon F Smash, for example. I've talked to you about that combo before, but it's just. Mm. It's so difficult. It's so precise because, like, you have to get like three to four pieces of bacon, and while it does happen sometimes, sometimes it also doesn't. And the uh, forward smash is a little yeah. slow. It's like frame seventeen, frame eighteen, so it's not yeah. as easy to connect this down smash. I don't know. You you gotta start running at the stack moment so you can get yeah. the forward smash. Yeah. Yeah, and there's also the thing of like you have to get the spacing on it too because like if you get the sour spot, it doesn't do anything. You have to get like the fire hitbox. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's uh, he has a lot of more things. Game and watch for sure. He has bacon into nine, but like, are you gonna go for that? Like, no. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Bacon is such a strong option, such a broken option. I I I used to not be a bacon believer, but bros, so there are some characters <laughs> that get destroyed by the bacon. Even yeah. sometimes me or like my characters that like can just like nair back here throughout the bacon sometimes. Like I'm so carried by that against Game Watch. Just like nairing through bacon or doing something yeah. through bacon. But something yeah, yeah. is so hard. So I imagine Fox, bro. What is Fox doing to do? Like, yeah, what is he gonna do? Literally. <laughs> He's gonna die. Yeah, no, right. but um good set for sure. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted to beat light because uh if I had beaten light. I would have had to play Shattuck, and I want to play Shattuck again. Like, I've been pressing that match a lot, so I don't know. And he's also really good right now, so it would be a really good win. So I want to get good wins overall, so. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what matters. Getting the good wins, getting good placements. That's, yeah, that's and if you lose, if you lose, make sure that it's not bad losses ranking-wise, because that also affects. So, yeah. We're, I mean, because you, you all haven't noticed, we both are very focused right now on trying to Climb the rankings back up. We have a lot of like projects coming up, and uh, that's actually what I wanted to get at next. Is uh, so like we said, tournaments in 2024, not really that many left, honestly, and that's kind of weird to say since we're approaching April, and like that's like one quarter of the year, and there's not that many. Like we have Gommel, which of course we will be at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Register for Gommel. Um, we have like. I mean, there's Japan, obviously, right? But, like, I'm talking about, like, more so NA, uh, Europe. Um, what else is there, like, in, in throughout the year? Because there's no Smash Con, or at least it hasn't been announced. So no. That's another crazy one. It's usually a P tier, you know? I imagine it's getting announced. I don't know. I have, I believe. I have yeah. It's, it's such a big tournament to just not do it, I feel like. I'm, I don't know. And we also didn't go to last Smash Con, so please... I want to go to Smash Con. It's, it's one of my favorite event. tournaments. I, I, I miss it. I miss eating the um, Latino food right next to the video. Oh, I, I miss yes. that shit. Yes, it's yeah. great. It's great. Um, but I believe there's like... I know there's like a couple tournaments in Europe. There's like Regen. There's uh, Kings of Fields. There's UFA. Um, I believe that's about it. I mean, I know there's a... 
I don't know if this one has... No, I think it has been announced, right? If it hasn't, please cut this out of the video. But um, Let's Make Moves uh, Toronto, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, right? This so there's that Moves one. Toronto. That's... This, there's Miami. There's New York. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I I cannot imagine how is the Toronto going to be. Like, yeah, I have a I have, no gonna lie, high high expectations. Yeah, yeah, Toronto's nice, dude. I I love Toronto. Um, that's in September though, so it's still a little bit far away. Um, and now for October, like you said, um, I actually don't know what there is in October. I don't know. If, I mean, I know Miami is there, like you said. I don't know if it's happening again in October. That's usually how it is. Um. But for November, apparently there's no port this year. Did you know that? No. I uh, they, uh, well, I don't know how true it is. I've been seeing it on Twitter. So granted, it is Smash Twitter. But yeah, apparently there's no port this year. And there's nothing in November. There's nothing in December. Thank God, do not run tournaments in December. It's Christmas. No one wants to travel during Christmas season. <laughs> uh, at least in my opinion. So yeah. Um, and I guess that's it. Because like... There's nothing in June. There was crown, but no. that's it. No, no yeah. more crown. No more crown. So well, July Smash Factor. July is Smash Factor. Maybe the Fino Mansa happens. It still hasn't been announced. Oh yeah, it hasn't been announced. I don't know, man. There's like not that many tournaments going on, and while that is sad to say, I really don't have anything else to say. It's just sad to say. <laughs> like, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. about it. So what is your next tournament? Where can we see my next? So I think my next tournament will definitely be Japan. Uh -huh. Oh, my in Japan. That's, 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 that's absolutely crazy. Yeah. I'm going to make a little bit of some um, self-promo over here, but running a campaign for that. So make sure to check it out because... Um, uh, it's gonna be fun. It's a fun campaign. Summit style, donation incentives, you know, funny stuff. You're included in that. I'm warning you right now, so be ready. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to Japan. Let's definitely get to nice. Japan. Nice. Is it your first time in Japan? Oh, it's yeah. It's gonna be so high, bro. I'm gonna be staying there for almost three weeks, so nice. it's gonna be insane. Bro. Bro. Well, I'm not... Well, I wish you the best in your Japan trip. Hopefully something crazy happens hopefully maybe more lg guys can go like to to japan uh, that, or maybe mm, <laughs> mm, <laughs> yeah maybe yeah maybe maybe, maybe uh, uh, spoilers maybe i will try so yeah it's going to be hype watching you against all the japanese players bro and hopefully yeah. we finally get the mia against uh meister set dude okay low key i'm calling it right now it's totally gonna happen you want to know why like this is like rocky four dude where like i have to go to his country to settle it in the ring you know because uh look listen 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 so it had to happen at poor priority but i got mm -hmm. upset or no i didn't get the upset rather i had to upset t um and i didn't do it then we were supposed to play at genesis i did everything right but this time mia was the one who got upset so in my opinion this is life saying no you have to go to japan meister you have to have that happen in japan on the big stage that it's totally gonna on happen. the like, big stage yeah 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 it's definitely gonna happen i'm calling it right now mm -hmm. what what if your set is best of three that would be so sad i will actually cry like if it's best of three i will be so 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 sad is it not no is it best of three till top eight or something or why uh, i don't are you know saying? but I'm, I'm pretty sure kagaribi does like something with best of three like i'm pretty sure it's not all best of five like and like oh no it's yeah, no, no, I know, I know that because like the last thing I saw was like they did top two fifty six best of five, which is still good. Um, hey, well, thank you. What about if you guys do best of five soon? <laughs> but, no, it's okay if they don't want it. It's their tournament; they know how to run. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's best of three, I will cry. But uh, yeah, that's that for me. Uh, where are you going next, Leo? Because I know you have a couple um, things, right? Yeah, at the end, I'm I'm actually gonna go to. Best of the West. Ooh, um, yeah. I'm going to go to that tournament. Um, shout outs to Morag and shout outs to the Nogales community for like helping me and supporting me, like getting there, of yeah. course. It's going to be a hype tournament. I'm very excited because um, it's the first time I will be teaming with Spargo like, uh, at a doubles Mexican tournament. 
Okay. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. I think it will be a lot of fun. And of course, getting their bomb back against him. Um, uh, I think it's going to be really draining fighting Spargo again, like so soon. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but it, it's good experience, and I mean the bomb back, good smash. Yeah, I'm excited. So, that game ten grand finals uh two weeks ago, godlike. Yeah. So maybe yeah. maybe we get another bomb back, not just only in grand finals, but also in winners finals, because you know sometimes like we face in grands, but we sometimes don't face in winners. Like pretty weird. Um, but yeah, hype tournament, best uh best of the West. A lot of Mexican people will be there. Alan this Sky J, Spargo, and Battle of BC. And Battle of BC, I'm also gonna be there and. Another S tier plus tournament hype. Oh yeah! So hopefully we do good. Yeah, no, for sure, definitely lots of tournaments coming up for you. Lots of uh, traveling. The good old Smash, you know, it's actually one of the best things about uh, Smash as an esport is that I think out of all esports, we're probably the ones that travel the most out of any esports. So yeah, Loki, grateful Loki, because <laughs> uh, it is definitely a, a good experience. You get to know a lot of places. But yeah, good luck in all of your tournaments, Leo. I think uh, you will kick for sure. Thank you. Like, not even a doubt in my mind about that. Mm, we'll see. I'm excited. Another top eight, fighting good people. I know Battle of VC is going to have a lot of Japanese players that usually don't travel. Oh, so yeah. you, know, you know how that goes. A lot of upsets, a lot of Japanese bias. But I will see. It, it will be fun. <laughs> it will good be an interesting you. tournament. Oh, thank good you. luck to thank you too, Papu. Ooh. Yeah, thank you. It'll be tough first time in Japan, so Woo! we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But um, that'll be it for today's episodes. Shout outs to all the players' circulation. Shout outs to us, the goats, because this was the goat talk. Subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.